just a reminder, now that we've done our decimals, we've done our fractions, we've done all the different operations, so just as a reminder, we're putting everything back together, and we need to make sure that we are following our order of operations. So remember the uh, acronym for order of operations, we work with bed mass. So again, that's brackets, exponents, divide, multiply, add, and subtract. So keep in mind, the divide multiply is in order from left to right so it doesn't matter which one you do first but we want to work in order from left to right for dividing or multiplying now when you're working with fractions um, we're going to change all our division to multiplication anyway so really you can almost think of it as just multiplying because we won't be using that division operation same with adding and subtracting we just go left to right in the order they're written but again we probably aren't really doing any subtracting because now that we're working with rational numbers we're going to change every subtraction to adding the opposite so really we don't really need the division or the subtraction so we can almost think of it as bima okay so we are still working with bed mass but just keep those things in mind okay all right so if i have something like 0 0.75 minus 12 over 13 times 26 over 9 looks horrible so i got two options i can either change everything into a decimal and try typing it into my calculator or i can work with everything in fractions my suggestion is um, change everything to a fraction much easier 12 over 13 is not a nice decimal it's going to be some kind of repeating decimal and it's not going to look very good same with 26 over 9 but I can very quickly change 0 0.75. I know that's 3 quarters. So I'm just going to rewrite that 0 0.75. I'm going to rewrite it as 3 quarters. And now I'm going to work through my problem. So I have a subtraction operation and a multiplication operation. So I'm going to deal with the multiplication first. Okay, so I'm looking at this part here first. So I'm going to look for any cross-reducing. So I see between 12 and 9, they both have a common factor of 3. So I'm left with a 4 in the numerator, a 3 in the denominator. And between 13 and 26, I also have a common factor of 13, giving me a 1 left over and a 2. Okay, so now I still have my 3 quarters at the front. And now I'm subtracting. Uh, 4 times 2 gives me 8 for my numerator, and 1 times 3 is 3 for the denominator. So now I've got it as 3 quarters minus 8 thirds. Okay. Now I'm not allowed to subtract unless I have a common denominator, so I better get a common denominator for those guys. Common denominator for 4 and 3 would be 12. So I'm going to multiply on the left, top and bottom, by 3, and that gives me now 9 over 12. On the right, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4, and that gives me 32 over 12. Okay, And so this one uh, is going to give me now... Uh, okay, And so I've got 9 minus 32. Now I could change this to say 9 plus negative 32, but there's really no difference here. I can do 9 minus 32 just the same. That gives me negative 23 over 12 and putting into mixed number that is negative 1 and 11 over 12 because 12 can go into negative 23 negative 1 time there'd be 11 pieces left over okay so remember i want you to try and work down your page identify what you're working on at each step okay do one more really quick okay so i got a little bit more going on here. i got 1 and 1 half minus negative 5, 6 is being divided by negative 1 and 23 over 24 minus 2 thirds. And I do have two sets of brackets. The nice thing about having these two sets of brackets, um, because they're separate from one another, I can actually w look at both things at the same time. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these mixed numbers. I don't want any mixed numbers. Okay, so 1 and 1 half, I'm going to rewrite it as... 3 halves and negative 1 and 23 over 24 I'm going to write as negative 47 over 24 and everything else is going to stay the same in the same spot where it was before okay now if you felt like it in that step you could have gone instead of saying minus negative 5 6 I guess I could also at the same time instead of thinking of it as subtracting a negative I could rewrite it as adding the opposite. So now it's adding a positive 5, 6. So I'm allowed to do that step at the same time. 
Okay. All right, in this first set of brackets here, I need to do that addition, but I can't add those two fractions until I have a common denominator. So I'm going to get my common denominator of 6, and I'm not going to write that one out in as much detail. So that's going to give me 9 over 6 plus 5 over 6, and that gives me 14 over 6. We'll deal with that in just a second. Okay, on the right-hand side of that division sign, so I still have the negative 47 over 24, that was fine. But I have to change my two-thirds, it needs to be multiplied top and bottom by 8 to give me 16 over 24. Okay, and now I have negative 47 over 24 minus, ne minus 16 over 24, and negative 47 take away 16 more gives me negative 63 over 24. Okay, so now I've got my two fractions that I'm going to be dividing. Now, before I would do any dividing, I'm going to put these fractions into lowest terms. Okay, 14 over 6 is the same thing. they got a common factor of 2, so let's rewrite that as 7 over 3. Sorry, I said 2 and wanted to write it. So that gives me 7 over 3. And then I'm dividing by, on the other side here, we have a common factor of 3. Right, so negative 63 divided by 3 is negative 21. And then we have 24 divided by uh, 3 gives us 8. Okay, so we have a positive fraction being divided by a negative fraction. That's helpful because I know my answer in the end is going to be negative, so I might want to make a note of that for myself. Okay, now I don't want to actually divide. I would rather multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to flip my fraction upside down. Notice how I left the negative up top. Again, if you've pointed out that you know your answer is going to be negative, you could forget about them as long as you're going to bring it back in at the end. Okay, so cross-reducing. Uh, 7 and 21 have a common factor of 7, so that becomes a 1, and this one here becomes a 3. And as I multiply those two guys, that gives me negative 8 over 9. So what started as something quite difficult, looked kind of awful, ended up becoming quite a simple answer in the end. And again, I made sure to bring my negative into my final answer. Okay, so keep working with order of operations just like you've done with integers. Nothing has changed, so show your uh, which thing you're working on each step of the way. If you need to do a little bit of extra work because you have to get common denominators, that's all right. You just take an extra line uh, to bring your work down the page. All right.